Perfect! Same old again, just like a exact repeat of Bristol City. Oh. Oh. I feel meh. That's the right word for this match tonight. Meh. Go away, no! That's a battle! No! No! Don't you freaking dare! Come on! Push forward! Push forward! That's promising! Come on, Bunzu! Hard is alongside him. Looking at this, it's not the greatest of weathers, but that sea is absolutely stunning. For drizzle like this, gorgeous. Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome back to what is another video. I need to get both A, a haircut and B, a beard trim soon. As you can tell, I'm starting to overgrown again right before the season closes. Anyways, Leicester. It's Leicester at home tomorrow night. I'm recording this on Thursday, by the way. It's Leicester tomorrow night at home park. A massive game yet again in our quest to stay in the EFL Championship. The last time we played Leicester, we got absolutely hammered 4-0 at the King Power Stadium for my visit there in December. Round 20 of the season. Mavadidi with a masterclass that day. What is going to happen this time? I really don't know. But um, obviously, we're coming back into this. We're coming into this off the back of that 1 1 draw against relegation rivals QPR on Tuesday night. Leicester are coming into this on the back of losing 
1-0 to relegation rivals of ours, Millwall, at the Den, who we've got to face still this season. What is going to happen? I don't know. But we're going to be massive underdogs coming into this game. I know we are. And Leicester's obviously right at the top of the table, battling for automatic promotion with Leeds and Ipswich. Us, meanwhile, battling to stay up. So I know what a lot of the bookies and a lot of the the audience are going to make their mind up for predictions wise but is the way I look at it it's a hard game but if if Sheffield Wednesday can at least get a draw at Hillsborough against Leicester if Millwall can beat Leicester on Tuesday night at the Den I can't believe that's just echoed bloody hell I forgot about this part of the hoe but yeah if all those circumstances can happen there's no reason why we cannot beat Leicester City in this league. Also, I'm going to put this on the camera now. Look at their record at Home Park over the years when we were in the championship when I was a kid. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Yes, they're a much better team than we are right now. Obviously, they've just got relegated from the Premier League. We've just got promoted from League One. It doesn't mean... We can't do anything tomorrow for the game. It's going to be really interesting. And I don't care if you're all going to call me really optimistic for this. My score prediction for this match, I am go going with a 1-1 draw. I don't see us winning it, but I can genuinely... I am going to back us to draw tomorrow night. I really am confident that we can. And I know that this team have the capability of doing so as well. And especially at home as well. We just need to need to wake up from that QPR result and deliver in these last four games. Four cup finals to go. Leicester at home. Stoke away against Steven Schumacher. Millwall away. And then Hull, the Tigers at home on the last day of the season on the 4th of May. Will Argyle survive this season and stay in the championship for another season or will we, we, will we be back in League One? Hopefully not. We've been 13 years out of this league, back in this league this season. I don't want all that hard work to go away and we end up back in League One. I'm confident we can get a point tomorrow night. Leicester obviously will be looking to bounce back from that defeat to Millwall. But it doesn't mean that we can give them a hard time themselves. And they're not in very good form at the moment either, Leicester. We can definitely give them a hard time. We can do Leeds a massive favour tomorrow night. We can do Ipswich a massive favour tomorrow night. In their quest to go up. Honestly, we can do this. We can do this. And I'm going to back us all the way to at least get a point. If we win it, though, it will be our version of Forest Green beating Sheffield Wednesday in League One last season at the New Lawn. Hopefully, we can do something tomorrow night. That is brilliant for our boost of survival. We're on 45 points at the moment. Obviously, if we win, we'll go on to 48. If we draw, we'll go on to 46. That will all depend on results elsewhere as well. 50 is the target for me. 50 is the target for me to stay in this league again for next season and another season in English football second tier. Leicester, from their point of view, they'll want to bounce back from that defeat to Millwall if they want to get promoted back to the Premier League at first attempt. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, we'll see you all for the game. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Pilgrims, up the Greens, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green Army and yeah, We'll discuss more about this during the course of this video. I thought I'd film my intro while I'm on a walk here at Plymouth Hoe again. Look at that sea. Gorgeous. This is what Leicester has to come to tomorrow. And hopefully, well, these waves were crashing, but <laughs> not now. So let's just film over here. Never mind, my, my point's gone. The waves have stopped crashing, but no. These waves are violent earlier. 
And that's what we need to be, just like those waves coming into tomorrow night at Home Park. Come on, you greens. Big one. Four cup finals to go. Right, I've had my, my beard and my moustache shaved. While I'm walking to the ground, all my Argyle gear is in my bag at the moment. But while I'm walking to the ground, I need to go through my predicted lineup. So, who do we start tonight against Leicester? Obviously, Michael Cooper and goal, no brainer. I'm gonna go back three of Brendan Galloway, Lewis Gibson and Dan Scar. We need to drop Ashley Phillips tonight. I'm sorry, we do. He's not impressed me at all lately. And I feel like he needs to be dropped for this game tonight. Maybe bring him on second half, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say wing backs, Matty Sorinola and Mikel Miller. Midfield of Jordan Houseman and Adam Forshaw. And then my front three. Now this is going to surprise a few people, but I'm gonna say Callum Wright, Morgan Whitaker, and Mustafa Bundu. Hardy needs to be dropped in my opinion. He's been so poor lately. It'd be good if he comes on in the second half, especially if Leicester take the lead and we equalize thanks to substitutions. Also, I want us to start Callum Wright tonight because it's against his former club. And I think he'd love it if he'd get one over, um, over Leicester tonight in a green shirt. So that's my lineup really. Wants to look out for tonight for Leicester. Definitely Mavadidi, definitely Vardy. To be honest, we could just say all of them. <laughs> uh, Obviously, they're fighting to go back up to the Premier League. We're not. Mavadidi, Vardy, Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall, for me, has been the, one of the best midfielders in the league. Same with Yannick Vestergaard at the back for centre-backs. Pereira's there. Hermanson in goal. Valt Fies also at the back. Be very interested to see how we do and cope with tonight. I mean, especially if... Leicester's form is so mixed right now, which is also why I think we'll get a result tonight. Don't get me wrong, our form is worse, but it doesn't mean we can prove the doubt is wrong. Come on, New Greens. All right, guys, I'm heading in in a second. Um, obviously, we've got a massive game tonight. Anyway, for the time being, we are joined by the guys who I collab with back in December at the King Power Stadium, Maya and the Silver Fox and KFC Dad, two huge Leicester fans, two huge Foxes fans. How are we feeling coming to the mighty Southwest tonight, boys? Well, this is our first ever trip to Plymouth. Uh, this is your first ever time down here? First ever time, Oh, yeah. nice one. Um, yeah, um, it was a long trip down. We left at 12 o'clock and it's oh, okay. nearly six o'clock now. Uh, we had an hour stop, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a long journey. It's a bit longer than we normally have. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's always long to get down. I'll be fair. <laughs> but tonight's game, um, we've not been in the best of form, um, and uh, like I said to you earlier, if we turn up and play like how we can play, then I think we'll win. But if we play anything like we did at Millwall, uh, then I think uh, you've got a great chance of getting something. Yeah, fair enough. What are you about you, Mayan? What do you reckon? I'm very confident out here. I think we need to get back home wins and get the three points. Leicester City needs a three point and you need to get a three point as well. That's very true. But we, I can see who's doing it. Yeah, right. fair enough. No, I like the confidence to be fair. Um, you said 2-1, you reckon. What do you reckon? Uh, I've said 2 1 as well. Who's the score tonight? I can't lie, I'll back to Mavadidi to score tonight. Hey? No, Vardy. Uh, I'll back to Mavadidi to score tonight for you guys. Yeah. And, and um, I think I think Dewsbury Hall will score. And oh, yeah, I wouldn't shock me. Maybe Vestergaard head up. Oh, fair enough. Is there anyone for us you're nervous for tonight in our team? Uh, is it Mwitty? Mamba. Yeah. Mamba. Yeah. When, when he's called. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's quality. No, yeah. Um, 
what I'm the what I'm actually got pulled tonight is do you remember do you remember Callum Wright? Yeah, he used to be yeah. at Leicester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's against his former club tonight. I am I'm, I'm confident in him, but be interested to see what happens. Obviously, these guys, huge favourites coming in tonight, rightly so. Obviously, they're battling for autos with Ipswich and Leeds. Could be anyone's at the moment. It's really tight league. Could go down to the last day yet, but no. We'll see what happens. Subscribe to their channel if you haven't already. Um, how many subscribers are you guys on now? Just have interest? Uh, just over 5,000. 5,000, okay. And yeah, get them to 6,000 if you haven't already. Um, and the other thing I wanted to ask was, um, so far, before tonight, what has been your favourite away day so far this season? If you had to pick Southampton. one. Southampton. Southampton, oh, okay. Yeah. You won 4 1, didn't you? Yeah, that was. Yeah, yes. nice one. Awesome stuff, guys. Okay, I'm joined by another Leicester fan, Jack from the Final Whistle. I'll put the links in the description, so please subscribe. How many subscribers are you on, by the way, before we get started? Over 3,000. Yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. Another content creator for Leicester out there. Like what we all try and do. How are we feeling for tonight, coming down to the southwest? Uh, tough game, isn't it? Um, yeah. Leicester and Plymouth fight two different things. Um, it's a huge game tonight for yeah, both sides. And game. Hopefully the Foxes can turn their form around after a defeat to Millwall. So, yeah, I think tonight we will go and win the game. I tell you, you can tell it's huge games because, um, obviously, Leeds have got Blackburn tomorrow and I want Leeds to do us a favour you want Blackburn to do a favour so it just shows the opposite end yeah, of the Blackburn table Yeah, Blackburn and really. Middlesbrough mate to be honest Oh yeah, it's because Middlesbrough's got Ipswich of yeah. course so there's that as well but no, score prediction for tonight I'm going 1-1 one, one. what do you reckon? 3-1 Leicester oh, we, I like the Whitaker confidence. to score for Plymouth okay. and I'm going to go Dewsbury to score for Leicester I've got Mavadidi for Leicester funny enough um, Is there anyone you're nervous for though for Argyle coming into tonight regardless? Um, I know you've got Callum Wright haven't you? And he the used former, to be at Leicester of former course Former Leicester yeah so He's one to watch out for, and Hardy as well. Fair and enough. Mumba. And is there anyone right now on form for the Foxes we should be necessarily worried for tonight? I joked on camera earlier saying all of them, but... <laughs> uh, Choose Hall, uh, Mavadidi, if we can get him at his best tonight, and I'd say like J Jamie Vardy, really, you yeah. know what I mean? So. Uh, fair enough. That'll be a very interesting see. Where yeah. do you think you'll finish at the table at the moment? Do you think you're going to go up, or do you think you're going to miss out? No, I think we'll go up. First or second? Go on, give us a number. Top of the league. Top of the league. I like the confidence. Subscribe to Jack if you haven't done already. The name, all the links are going to be in the description. Ah, oh, massive game tonight. I'm bricking it. Right, Richard, how are we feeling for tonight? Leicester at home. Uh, I thought we were lucky today, actually. Oh, fair enough. What's your score prediction? I've got 1-1. One, one. I've got 1-1. One, one. Oh, you've also got 1-1. One, one. You think we'll make a point tonight? Yeah, for me, with the, where's the second United? No, with the last United talk, they're doing me over. Oh, okay. They're not at the coming down here, they're not giving me all the hope in the world. Oh, okay then. <laughs> we'll see what happens then, we will be interested. Is there anyone for Leicester you're nervous for tonight, regardless? I joked earlier in my video saying all of them. I do eat that actually, all of them. But no, but if I had to pick, I went have a deed. Uh, I, for me, I went to Harry Winton in the field. He's got it on his programme right there. Yeah. Like, that's keeping him studying, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I rate that. Look at it, yeah. Harry Winks, yeah. Yeah, you're going with Harry, Harry Winks, fair enough. And is there anyone Leicester to look out for tonight for us tonight? Uh, Barley. I've, I've gone Callum Wright, because it's his former club. Uh, if you remember the way Matt the Leicester, Callum Wright was brilliant. He way. was, yeah, he was as well. Right, Leicester at home. Big one tonight. Two ends of the table. How is this going to hope? How this is going to go, I don't know, but we will see. So... I guess we go from there, yeah. My heart's my heart and my head says one all. There we go. That's the picture summed up with the two badges there. And PAFC displays have been doing all these flags for the home end tonight. Which is great to see. So yeah, we'll go from there really. Come on the greens. Nah, big game tonight. The badges say it all. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, hello, you alright? Right? I'll scandal together. Ah, this tells me where you are now. That's all gone through. What are you saying? There you go, Robert. I know where you are now. That'll be near me, actually, so there we are. 
Come on. I've got to do my job, buddy. Right. <laughs> one, one. Right, we're underway. Different for me tonight because my uncle's here tonight. So, Liam and Harvey will enjoy themselves over there. First time all season I've been in the Mayflower range. Anyway, Argyle Leicester, seven and a half minutes in. Massive game for the night. There's the Leicester fans over there. And that's the, oh, thank God for that. Have that, have that. They're dominating us so far. That Mavadi, we really put that in the back of the net. 1 0. God almighty. Maybe my Mayfair stand set at change for just tonight is not working so far. But it's early days. Yes! That's promising. We've got to throw in. I'm so nervous from Abadidia. I've backed him to score tonight. Come on, Bundu. Hardy's alongside him. Go for it. Yes! 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 Oh my freaking God! Yes! Yes! Gets in! Gets in! The dream start! Come on! Come on! Absolute beauty of a finish. Who are you? 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 I said he had to start tonight, and that's exactly why he needed to. That is an absolute dream of a start. Delivery. I freaking love you, Mustafa Bundu. Look at that.
freaking beautiful. This happened to us at Portman Road back in October when we lost we lost our attack instantly and then Ipswich equalised. I pray to God this does not the same thing doesn't happen tonight. Come on, Joe. Let's keep possession. Shoot! Oh, that's gone way over. Much to the Leicester fans' delight. Definitely it does, but the guy, unsurprisingly, it doesn't. Green and white, Bobby, are we? Oh, we're on the attack again. That's Mumba. Oh, he's been dispossessed. Our number 10 gives it straight to their number 10. Here's she's real. Come on. Now she's straight to her mansion. Yeah, you're looking at your watch. Blow the half time whistle. Thank you. Right. Here the Leicester fans booing, that is mad. I don't blame them with the form they're on at the moment. Half time, Plymouth 1, Leicester 0. So far, so good. What a first half. Pilgrim Peaks loving that one, I don't blame them. We've got to carry this on second half. It's not going to be easy, but we've done the first half of it, of the job. Need to do the second half of the job now. That's going really well so far. We're 1 0 up against one of the autos chasers be a massive statement if it stays like this oh so far so good come on greens stunning view ain't it anyway <laughs> the greens that came out of nowhere anyways oh what a first half i i was hoping to look for my mate who sits up in this part of the mayflower stand but i haven't found him so i'm just gonna go for my half time thoughts anyways what a first half, and Leicester threw everything at us as well. Mavadidi especially, like I predicted. Mustafa Bundu, you absolute beauty! Tonight's 50-50, first prize £2,000, the winning number was 092. Let's keep this up, I can't second wait for the second half. Awesome. Nigel, what do we make of that then? What a first half. I thought it was well organised. I thought we hit him on the break very well. I thought we deserved to be 1-0 up. I agree, I agree. Mustafa Bundu, you beauty, that's all I could say. Yeah, definitely. Who's your best player tonight so far for us? I think Adam Forshaw. Oh yeah, no, fair enough, that's a good shout, good shout. Yeah, Anyone for Leicester you're nervous for right now? Uh, and Ndidi. Oh, fair enough, that's a good, that's a good shout. I think Ndidi could be. Uh, yeah. uh, fair enough. Big second half, where do we go from here? I think if we get a second, we'll win it. All right then. Do you think we'll stay up? Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Right, big second half coming. 
Right, second half started. We're going to head back down in a minute. I'll just visit in the lab. Right, let's head back. Second half has started. I just needed to. I went to visit the boys. Some of my friends in that Mayflower stand. But right, while I was heading back down, Hardy and Whisker have been booked, and one of them was an absolute ridiculous decision by the ref. Why are we not surprised? Are we surprised? No. That's Dewsbury Hall. Oh, careful. Don't give it to Pereira. Oh, that's ending. Well, he better not act like a prat tonight. Terrible dad joke. I'm sorry. What a prat! What a prat! Oh, that's ending. 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 Oh, that's Take him on, Mumba. He's really good as well, um, Fatawi. Shut up, Leicester. Do. Keep it going, Mustafa. It's for sure. That's offside. That is offside. He missed anyway. Unlucky. Green and white, Bobby RB. Yeah, just let Leicester play the advantage. Oh, God, this is nervous. We need a second goal. We need a second goal. It's just started raining as well, so I think I'm about to get soaked. Lovely. God. Ha, 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 ha. coming off. He's had an incredible performance. We're going more defensive, we're going to try and stop from scoring. But I want a 2 0 lead, not a 1 0, like every game. That's it, Brendan. Jesus Christ. No. Thank God for that. And here comes Mr. Vardy. Mavadidi's night is done. Oh, here we go. Be arrogant. We got a free kick. That's it. Well done, Raf. Oh, go! Oh, go! You reckon? You reckon a goal here? Right. Robert's predicting a goal here, we'll see. Free kick to us, Whisker's gonna take it. We weren't far off, to be fair. Right, Hardy's off for the Wayne train and Jordan Houghton's on for Adam Forshaw.
Don't give it to Vardy or Dewsbury Hall. Howard's trying to play it forward. Keep looking for Vise, but keep playing. Whitaker's blasted. Oh, Goyle. It's not over yet, unless it's sort of leads messing up themselves. And this game ain't over yet. We'll talk if it ends 1 0 to us. 12 minutes to go, 11 minutes to go. This corner. Five minutes to go in stoppage time. If you love the green, stand up. 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 Oh, look, they love the greens as well. They're all standing up. Way! Pick it up, Cooper. Yes! He 
is one of our own, that man. Fights for the bad every single game. It'd be such a sad day when he leaves this club. Absolutely rocking. Keep it going, guys. Are the England's in there somewhere? Right, well, how many minutes added then? It's five minutes! Oh, this is mental. Good tackle! What a tackle! Oh my god, I'm actually gripping it. my breath. Other team that was Leeds, that would be in. That was Ipswich, that'd be in. That was Southampton, that'd be in. Come on, boys, one minute to go. Oh my god. Keep on me. Ay, 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 and proud. Blow it, ref! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Look at Cooper! 
Richard Lynch at two pass. Lynch at two pass. What a night! Oh my God, what a night! Forty-eight points with three to go. What a night! He's going to be surprised. What a night! What a, what a night! I freaking love this football club. He's on fire. Your defence is so fine. Hardy's on fire. We have to stay up now. We beat Stoke, we've done it. I'm pretty sure we've done it, we beat Stoke. Frickin' yes! That's our most important win of the season, no doubt. We have beaten ex-Premier League opposition for the first time this season. I don't care, this is bleaked out. I love this football club. Yes! Yes! That's it! We're so nearly there. I can't believe this. Sacking Foster might have been the best decision we've ever made. What a night. What a night. I I'm speechless. Get in. That is how the response. The QPR game doesn't matter to me now. Oh, just. I want to go to heaven. And there is the man who just doesn't stop giving it his all for the bad. Oh, Cooper, we love you. Scar, we love you. Full time. Tat, what do you make of that? Yeah. Are we staying up? Stay up. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's go. Hugo, what do we make of that? Amazing. Come on. I'm all I'm all yeah, yeah, I'll just have to cover it out. I've been watching this club for six years. I never ever thought we'd be bigger than Leicester City. Ex-Premier League opposition. Yeah, Champions of the Bank. Are you having a good Mate, we were close against Southampton twice and we finally done it against Leicester. The same team that batted us 4-0 in December. This is mad. I can just imagine the two-match right now. Oh, honestly. I think sacking Boston was actually the best decision we could have done. Come here. What a night. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes! Right, full time. Argyle won, Leicester nil. I can't believe it! Teddy, what do we make of that? I'm trying to be a young Argyle Absolute fan here. Absolute class. Come on, you Griggs. That's it. Get in. Man of the match tonight. Adam Randall. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's got to be him or Bundu for me. Superb. Superb. Are we staying up? Yes! Come on! Come on! Absolutely love this football club. So special. I can't believe it. I actually cannot believe it. We've just beaten freaking Leicester. I've got a lot of words, but right now I have no words. I'm so full of emotion. Oh my God. Get in. Green Army! Green Army! Green Army! I can't wait to edit this. We've actually beaten Premier League, ex-Premier League opposition. And I don't care if this is going to loud up the whole street. Green Army! Green Army! Argyle! Oh, Argyle! Oh, I'm having a nice shower tonight. Yeah. Oh, 
Mate, I can't wait for this to be uploaded. I can't wait for this to be uploaded. Genuinely, that is that's gotta be that's gotta be the night of the season. That's gotta be the night of the season. Game of the season. We've actually beaten ex Premier League opposition. I'm so proud. I this is briefly because it's very dark in here, but I'll get you my full-time thoughts fully in the end. But Liam Harvey, mate, what a night. What do we say about that? I'm speechless, to be honest. I don't know about you. That, uh, you know what? I was right from the beginning that their record here is rubbish and they've continued that streak tonight. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if they put up promotion, that'd be hilarious. No, they might. They hilarious. still might, you know. If, if Leeds and Ipswich win tomorrow, they're down to third again. Yeah. And they still got Southampton as their game in hand. I still wouldn't rule Southampton winning that either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're on better form than them. Look at, the, look at their fixtures. They've got West Brom, Southampton, and Preston. Yeah, West Brom won't be easy either. No. Neither will Preston. I mean, Bundy's goal was really, really well taken as our first. Chance. I can't lie, I was devastated when he got taken off, but. but it, Bringing on Gibbo, that was the Gibbo, best decision yeah. we could have done because honestly, defended so well that we game. defended that we defended for our lives the whole ninety. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. from when we scored, best defensive performance I've ever seen. That has got to be one of the best defensive performances I've ever seen. Still could be uh, in for a tough game next week. You know Very tough Dan game. Dan Scott deserves so much credit. Very he's tough game. Team and he's I don't just three man of the match performances in a row. I don't Who see does we can't, that? I don't see why we can't beat. Agreed. Them, so. We can be, we can Stoke. beat Stoke. We can beat Millwall. We could finish the season genuinely on fifty-seven points. Yep. If we win the last three. Yeah. I mean, I don't see why we can't beat Hull either. Because... Exactly. Yeah. If we depend What's on Hull's that. Record like down here, do you know? Yeah. Better than Leicester's, I'll tell you that now. Oh my God. And the last time we faced them in League One, they did the double over us. And they stormed the league that season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Very good win. We needed it. I think I think a draw would have been alright, but a win was, was a bonus. Um, 48 points, I think. Two more points to be safe. A one all would have been okay, but if they scored right at the end, I'd have legit been heartbroken. Yeah. Legit heartbroken, yeah. but... I didn't see them scoring. Their final... The... They couldn't finish all, and they threw everything the at us third, tonight as they well. They were so bad. But yeah, they happy so with bad. the win, we move on to Stoke. Oh, mate. <sighs> Green Army. Yes! 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 Green Army! You're a sky! You're a sky! Full of stars! See heavenly you! Oh man! Well, it looks very lively in Plymouth tonight. I wonder why. We're back where we started. That Cornish coastline over there in the distance will be looking so proud. As well as Plymouth Hope. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I've lost my voice. I've got some of it, but I've lost most of it. This club, man! This club! This club! Right here! Right now! Wow! Oh my god! I genuinely don't believe it. I genuinely don't believe it. Plymouth Argyle Football Club have just gone and beaten Leicester City, a former Premier League team with former Premier League players in Jamie Vardy, Kelechi Iheanacho, Wilfred Ndidi. This club, this club has come so far and so proud. Just wow. Wow, wow, wow. I've never seen anything like it. Our first season back and we've gone and beaten a former Premier League football side who have just been relegated. Massive favourites coming into this game as well. And we, once again, as usual, unsurprisingly, the massive underdogs. But, oh my God. Wow. Wow. And it just sums up how Leicester's terrible record is here at Home Park. The last time Leicester won at Home Park was 1955. And that wait 
will carry on again this season. I can't believe it. I knew something would be confidence for tonight. If Sheffield Wednesday beat Leicester at Hillsborough, no, sorry. If Sheffield Wednesday drew with Leicester earlier in the season at Hillsborough and Millwall's just beaten Leicester this week on Tuesday night, I said, I said, I said, it doesn't mean we can't do something tonight. And that's exactly what we've just done. We've freaking beaten them. We've freaking beaten the league leaders, the league favourites. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. That's, that's the best night of the season. Without a doubt, that is the best night of the season. We're now on 48 points after that. And we are getting agonisingly closer to staying up. Our 12th win of the season. And the most special of wins this season. Honestly... Oh my God, ah, I, I'm nearly tripped up because I'm that excited. Oh my God, I deserve it. I mean, the club deserves it. You know what that shows also? That just shows, that just shows this whole time on who the problem was at this football club. That just shows tonight who the problem was at this football club. I still believe that had Steven Schumacher stayed for the whole season, or we never hired Ian Foster in the first place, we would be so much higher in the table right now. I still believe that had we hadn't got robbed in a few results we've had this season where we've had to endure with really poor refereeing decisions, we would be so much higher in the league right now. Comfortable mid-table, I reckon. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That just shows how much can change in a week. We were 21st after Bristol City. And had we not won at Rotherham, we could have been 23rd right now. Instead, we're 16th in the league after beating Leicester tonight. I just... Oh, my God. Genuinely... Genuinely... Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And the best bit about it was that Leicester had such a poor game tonight. We were the better team from start to finish. No matter how much more chances Leicester had, we were the much better side from start to finish. It was a defensive masterclass from our goal tonight. What a performance. What a finish by Mustafa Bunda as well. Every single one of our players tonight fought for this badge. Fought for this badge right here. And that just shows how much it means to the fans. Michael Cooper especially. I'm going to put this out there now. I don't care what people say. Michael Cooper is a Premier League quality player. And there I said it. He is. He is. He is. What a performance. Dan Scar got man of the match by Sky Sports tonight. Rightfully so. A masterclass from the defence tonight. That was just... And that is a position we have struggled with all season with the amount of goals we've conceded. And tonight has proved why we are a championship footballing side right now. By far... The defence's best performance of the season, by far. In fact, I could argue that was our best performance of the season. It's debatable with the Norwich game, the 6-2, and the opening game against Huddersfield, the 3-1. But, my God, that was special. My favourite game at home park, that was. For, not, for this season, 100%. And also my favourite game at home park since we beat Ipswich 2-1 last season that sent us top of the league, of League One. God almighty, that was so special tonight. And we deserved every minute of it. Leicester threw everything at us. They were awful, yet threw everything at us. And didn't score once. We defended superbly. Mavadidi had an awful game. Vardy had an awful game. 
Chewsbury Hall dived all over the pitch the whole night. And now, Leicester, who were 12 points clear at one stage, are literally, they've literally got Leeds and Ipswich on their tail. We were 11, 12 points clear of the relegation zone to just one a few weeks ago. Tonight just proved, just proved that we're fighting to stay in this league. We are so close now. That tonight felt like we have done it. That tonight genuinely felt like we've stayed up. But it's not over yet. We are, if results go our way next weekend, we can get it done, I feel, at Stoke. At Steven Schumacher as well. I can't, I can't. I love this club too much, man. Oh, I, I really do I want to cry. I want to cry. That was just an absolute masterpiece of two hours of football. Just wow. Wow. Every single one of our players fought for that badge tonight. Unbelievable. In the words of Gary Neville, unbelievable. I'm speechless. Yeah, I'm talking so much. I'm speechless. I'm so proud of this club, man. I don't really need to say any more, do I? Just thanks for watching the video. Oh, my God. Absolutely superb, that was. It's how far this, 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 this club has come. And to all the Karens... Who are saying right now on Twitter and all sorts going on, going, oh, well, that was absolutely embarrassing for Leicester. Why don't you shut up, wind your neck in, take a look at your stupid egomaniacal face in the mirror and realise to yourself that it was a superb performance by Argyle instead and give them the well done instead. Give us the well done instead. Booking mugs. Auto-favouring mugs. A lot of them. And to anyone that supports Exeter City, what's who we really are? Because that is the Argyle we know and love. That is the Argyle we adore. That is the Argyle that should be like this every week. Honestly, what a beautiful night for football. Oh, honestly, I was gutted when Bundu um, got substituted, but it doesn't matter. He scored for us, he delivered, and our defence was just wow. Just wow. Michael Cooper's a Premier League player. No denying that. Fight me if you think otherwise. Dan Scar really fought for the badge tonight. What a performance. They all fought for the badge tonight. And I'm mainly saying Cooper and Scar because I thought they were the ones that stood out for me. Scar was just immaculate tonight. And Cooper, meanwhile, he's just been our best player ever since he's come back. Just sums up the quality he really is. Honestly, honestly, honestly. I can't get over that. Our midfield had a great game as well. Randall had an exceptional performance. He fights for the badge every week as well. Oh, my God. I, I, t I can't believe it. I genuinely cannot believe it. I don't think I really need to say any more. Because that was special. And now I go to Stoke next week. In such a good mood. And well up for it. To beat Steven Schumacher. And hopefully, fingers crossed, our survival is confirmed. Three cup finals to go. Stoke away, Millwall away, and then Hull at home on the last game of the season on May the 4th. One more home game to go now after that, and that just felt like the best of the bunch tonight did. We can forget about the QPR result now. This is just, that's just wipes that QPR game out of the memory now. I'm so proud of the boys. I'm so proud of the boys just shows how far we've come as a football club ever since we got promoted. I couldn't be prouder.
I really couldn't be prouder. And oh, mate, honestly, just wow. Just wow. I'm definitely having a pizza tonight. That genuinely felt like tonight we've done it. We've stayed up. It's not over yet. We need to get it mathematically confirmed. But that was just, oh my God. We've proved all the doubters wrong. Against all the odds as well. <laughs> like Harvey said as well, I think bringing on Gibson in the second half was the best thing, the best decision Nance could have made. And we just, oh my God. That was just honestly a defensive masterclass tonight. Defensive masterclass. And I can't wait for Stoke next week now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Gods. I just, I won't shut up about this for days now. I won't shut up about this for days. That was just incredible. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm surprised I ain't even partying right now. Well, I pretty much partied when I briefly got back home, but I didn't want to record my outro at home because I would have woke the whole house up. I knew I had to do it out here. Back where I started as well with this video. Started down um, this by the sea. Oh my days, that was just wow. Oh, so special. I can't wait for these last three games now to end what's been such a hard season, which most people would have expected. That's all I have to say from this video, really. I want to give a massive thank you to my and the Silver Fox and KFC Dad for being on this episode tonight just like the um earlier leicester episode at leicester's place back in december at the king power we couldn't get any better of a footballing night and i just this club man i love it so much love it so much so we'll see you all next weekend at stoke against Shuey. please subscribe if you haven't already we'll see you in the west midlands Three cup finals to go. We're so close, Greens. We are so close. We are so nearly there. Yes, yes, yes. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green Army! See you all next week at Stoke, guys. One, two, three. Yes! I forgot to say. Can you see how much happier the players look without Foster? Tonight just tells you everything. Yes! When they pull on the green, they're all janners.